Geo TV landed in Tokyo just a few hours ago, and of course we're here to cover Tokyo Game Show. But we thought we'd stop off to Akihabara, the electronic shop district of Tokyo, first to get a little bit of a feel of what's going on in uh, video gaming in Japan. And we've seen some of the major stores here, uh, what they're displaying. 3DS is uh, they're trying to push it here. It hasn't been the success that Nintendo were hoping for. Of course, the price has been cut from. 25,000 yen to 15,000 yen, so it's doing a little bit better now. Um, but otherwise, a lot of the big titles that are out right now don't really feel that fresh, such as Resident Evil Revival Selection or uh, Monster Hunter Portable 3rd on, on PlayStation 3. Uh, but um, perhaps that's something of a testament to the state of the Japanese gaming industry right now. Uh, we're a little bit concerned moving into Tokyo Game Show because it feels like some of the bigger Western publishers have sort of pulled their support for the show and they're not going to reveal that many big new things here at, at Tokyo Game Show. So it's up to the Japanese publishers and developers to really, to really uh, make Tokyo Game Show special this year and we're going to be seeing, we're going to do interviews with some of the biggest Japanese game developers later this week and we're going to see what they have on offer and we're going to try and give you a, a picture of of Tokyo Game Show what it is and, and what makes it special because it really is a special special show um, that I hope is uh, can stay still stay relevant for, for us Westerners even though perhaps it's moving towards a more Japan only uh, format that's that's going to be more important for for the Japanese consumers, the Japanese press rather than the Western press, which it's always been, of course, but even more so. Um, but, uh, well, that remains to be seen. We're, uh, it's Tuesday here. Uh, I have no idea what, what sort of day of the week and what time it is back home when we're filming this, but uh, Wednesday we're going to spend most of the day at Namco Bandai and uh, doing interviews on their games and, and see some of those. Uh, and then Thursday is when uh, the actual show kicks off. Thursday, Friday, business days, Saturday, Sunday, open to the public. Um, we have today, Nintendo have a press conference. And tomorrow, I think Sony has one for only Japanese press. So they are probably going to reveal some new, new exciting things uh, like the, the PS Vita launch details for, here for Japan uh, that we're still waiting for. So uh, y you probably should stay glued to find out more about that. But well, that's it for this first blog from uh, from Tokyo, and uh, hopefully I'm less jet lag next time you see me, and uh, that's it.